Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to today's English Literature class. Last class we read the chapter The Happy Frog. So today we will continue with the exercises of the same. Children, I hope you all are studying for your second semester exams. That is your final exams. Now, carrying on with Raju is a small boy. Just like you all. One day, he was walking through a park. Then, suddenly, he notices a frog moving left, right, and hopping on the stones. Raju then understands that it is a happy frog. He liked the frog a lot. He knew that the frog likes to eat insects. That resulted in concluding that he knows a lot about frogs. And so, he decided to make that frog his pet. At last, he takes the frog with him to his house. But after reaching house, he finds the case upside down. After taking the frog with him to his house, he finds out that frog is neither jumping nor hopping. Her sister saw this and waited for some time. Then he took the frog with them to the park again. Now her sister opened the jar in the park and the frog was set free. Now take out your mulberry books children. That is your English literature book and turn to page number 104 to continue with the exercises with me. Read, reflect and write. Number 3. Why did the frog not jump when Raju showed it to his sister? Answer 3. The frog did not jump because it was very sad and scared. It missed its home. The frog wanted to be free. It wanted to jump on grass and hop on stones. Now, number four. Why did Raju's sister take the frog to the park? Answer four. Raju's sister took the frog to the park because she realized that it was scared and sad. It missed its home and wanted to be free. Now, children, question 5. What did the frog do? When Raju's sister opened the jar. Answer 5. When Raju's sister opened the jar, the frog jumped high and low. It played in the grass and it was happy because it could do whatever it liked. Now, question 6. Can you think of two words to describe 
Raju's sister. Answer 6. Raju's sister is very kind and helpful. <coughs> Integrate. Number 7. Find out about two other animals that can live both on land and in water. Write what they eat and what their young ones are called. Compare them with the frogs. Answer 7. Tortoise and duck can live in both land and water. Tortoise eats plants and leaves. Its young ones are called hatchlings. Duck eats seeds, grass, fishes, worms and insects. Its young ones are called ducklings. Frogs can hop and jump, but tortoises and ducks cannot. Now, children, word wall. Words that show action. The frog can jump. It can hop. It can move its eyes. Make a list of things you can do. One has been done for you. I can jump. Children, you can also write, I can dance. I can run. I can sing. I can paint. I can laugh. I can draw, etc., etc. Oh, follow children. Now, please take out page number 105. Grammar time. Capital letters and full stop. Read these sentences. Raju stands in a park. He sees a little frog. Note that a sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. A new sentence again starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Number 1. Rewrite the pair of sentences given below using capital letters and full stop. A. Tomorrow is a holiday. I will go out with my parents. Over here, children, you start tomorrow with capital T. Tomorrow is a holiday. Put a full stop over there and again start with capital I. I will go out with my parents and again put a full stop over there. Now B. It is raining. I need an umbrella. So start with capital I. T. It is raining. Full stop. And again, capital I, need an umbrella, full stop. Number C. The little girl got a toffee. She was happy. Start with capital T, H, E, the little girl got a toffee, full stop. And capital S, H, E, she was happy, full stop. D. My brother is swimming in the pool. His friend is swimming too. 
Start with capital M Y my brother swimming in the pool full stop and again capital H I S friend that is his friend is swimming too put a full stop E It is a hot day Raj needs some cold juice Now start with capital I T it is a hot day full stop and children you know raj is the name of a boy so start with capital r a j raj needs some cold juice again full stop did you all understand children now present time number 2 fill in the blanks with the words given below children here is a help box the words includes writes plays climbs lives gives now we'll start with number a rohit dash near a park the answer will be rohit lives near a park now b he dash with his friends in the park the answer will be he plays with his friends in the park c he dash his bicycle to the park the answer is he rides his bicycle to the park now d he climbs trees The answer over here is he climbs trees. Now E, he dash bread to the ducks in the pond. So we'll write over here he gives. The answer is gives. He gives bread to the ducks in the pond. Well, children, please take out page number one hundred and six. Say it right. Read this sentence. He sat on his knees. In the sentence given above, notice the sound of the letters K N in the word knees. In some words, when the letter K is used before the letter N, K remains silent. and the letters k n take the sound of the letter n as in knees number 1 listen to these words and repeat after me the first word is knob k n o b second word is knock k n o c k third word is knee k n e e and the fourth is not k n o t now number 2 write down two more words that have the letter k n and in which the letter k remains silent a children write over there need k n e a d and number b write over there knife k n i f e Did you all understand, children? First one is need, and the second one is knife. So, children, did you all understand the exercises? Well, very good. I would like to repeat, Raju, after taking the frog with him. to his house he finds out the frog is neither jumping nor hopping her sister saw this 
and waited for some time. Then they took the frog with them to the park again. Now her sister opened the jar in the park and the frog was set free. The frog was happy again and started jumping and hopping. It started playing in the grass and was overall very happy. So children, what do you get to learn from this chapter? Yes, you learn to be kind to animals and birds. You should also appreciate the idea of freedom we have. Well, that's all for today children. Take care of yourself. Avoid going to crowded places. Wash your hands frequently with hand wash. Don't forget to wear masks whenever you go out. Bye children.